Today's Bible scripture is from the book of Psalm 127, verse 3. Behold, children a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Good morning, New Life Church. You know, pastors should prepare and do sermons on various topics from the Bible. However, it is true that many pastors feel difficult to preach about having successful relationship between husband and wife and about parenting. Why? Because it is difficult to maintain a good relationship with their spouse and there are many pastors who failed to raise their own children in God faithfully. Pastors are not perfect husbands, wife, and parents, as you know. But many people expect that pastors raise their own children well in God, right? That's why many pastors feel difficult to preach on a topic they are failing. It is so hard, but we must continue to try to raise our children well in God. So, what do we need the most to raise our children? Right, we cannot raise our children well without God's help. So, we must cry out for God's help. That's why we have to pray with tears every day and every moment. But the good news is that God is willing to help us when we try to raise our children well in God. Why? Because God loves our children and wants them to grow well in Him more than we do. That is the first reason why we have to raise our children well in God. Today's Bible scripture, Psalm 127, 3 says, Our children are heritage from the Lord, and they are fruit of the womb, a reward from Him. So we should note and remember that our children are a gift of the Lord, a reward from Him, and precious in His sight. Jesus was the one who valued children more than anything in the world. In the book of Mark chapter 10, Jesus showed us He was angry when his disciples kept children away from Jesus. And then Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it, right? Jesus was not the one who often got angry, right? But seeing how angry he was with his disciples, we could know how much he loved and valued our children, right? And there is one more reason why we have to raise our children well in God. God wants us to learn how much He loves us as teaching and taking care of our children. He wants us to know when we raise our children, we could know how much He loves us. We all know how hard it is to raise our children well, right? It is always hard to be fair 
It is always hard to love as sin. It is always hard to keep patient. It is true that we get tired when they do not know our love and understand us. Am I right? God wants us to know through our children that He has the same mind towards us. And He wants our faith in God to grow up through our children. That's why God wants us to keep trying to raise our children well in Him. So it is very important that our faith grows in raising children because we can be their good mothers. Through us, they will learn how to thank God, how to overcome difficulties, and how to raise their children. So today, the author of this reading plan, Dr. Charles Stanley, says, if we were raised by such good mothers, parents, we can probably see the fruit of such an upbringing in our own life and surely want to take a similar approach with our children. But on the contrary, if we were raised in a home where commitment to biblical principles were lacking, it would be difficult for us to find the things that God's child must have and not be a good mother for our children. But the author says we do not have to be disappointed because, thankfully, God wants us to be a successful parent and a wise toward of our child children even more than we do. That's why He sent the Holy Spirit to live within us when we became a believer. This is the awesome power that will enable us and our children when they trust in Christ to live by God's principles. So the author gives us one more Bible scripture today. So Galatians chapter 2, 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me, and gave himself for me. Do you believe that? Amen. So let us ask God for his wise and his help to raise our children, to know his plan and will for our children. Let us keep praying and reading these words from the Bible. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to offer guidance to raise our children well in God. So I hope we all become a little bit better parents when this reading plan is over. So please continue to join this reading plan and see you next week.